y'all. <clears throat> What's tea? I really came on here. I came on this live really. To be honest with you, I came on this live to apologize to my fans. Um, you know, today I I I, I jumped out the window. Just never now. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> all jokes aside, you know we learn we learn lessons every day in our lives, and I feel that some people are real enough to admit the lesson that they that they learn, and some people are, are are just they they just don't want to admit the lesson. And I feel that um, the lesson that I learned today is, you know, think before you speak. Because I felt like I said too much when really I had to just gather my words and really just let y'all know how I was feeling and what I'm feeling like. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that was the thing for me. You know, think before you speak and also just kind of just really truly stay focused. After this, I'm being back, putting being put back in my music, okay? Um... No, I'm apologizing to the fans. I'm apologizing to my fans. Um, I said what I had to say, and it kind of is like one of those things where it's too late. It's too fucking late. I said what I said. It is what it is. You know, um, I don't. I don't mean for this opportunity, for this moment, to mean that I fall out with anybody else of my friend, any one of my friends who support. You know, I. I, I just feel that. I spoke my mind and I, I said what I had to say. Period. And what trips me out though, one thing I don't understand is although the barbs hate me so much still to this day and they try to drag me all day, they try to drag me all day. Probably gonna happen last till tomorrow to the next day, probably this whole week. I don't give a fuck. But the point is, y'all y'all try to drag a bitch, but y'all be on my live. Y'all be on my live. Look, y'all on my live. Like, I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. I don't, 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 don't get it. But anyways, um, period. I said what I said now, you know, is what it is. Y'all like when I went live with the barbs today, though? I'm thinking about making that a thing now. Instead of, like, just, you know... Instead of being... Having so much... Such a wall of su such hatred put up towards the barbs, I figured... I said, what if I just start going live with y'all or them? What if I start going live with them? Like... I did say what I said. I did. I need to be as unbothered as Cardi B eating her crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> but no seriously guys thank you for those that do support me thank you so much for those that continue to show me love you know um i i, I really I, I truly appreciate all of y'all i really do Yeah, and I've learned that the barbs are kids. A lot of them are kids. Because that's what made me go live with them today. I wanted to see who's the people behind all these pages talking shit. And I realized that a lot of them are kids. And, um, yeah. So, with that being said, guys. I am... Uh, Totally. I just left the studio. I had went to the movies earlier today. I seen Lion King again. Um, just left the studio. Um, Y'all welcome. Oh.
Yeah, I, 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 yeah, y'all right. I spoke my mind because I'm just kind of tired of being, you know, quiet. I'm tired of, I'm tired of not speaking how I feel. And is it a direct, 100% directly my business? No, it's not. But I have a voice and I have an opinion and I feel like stating my opinion. And I know Trina's not going to say how she feels. So, I decided to say how I felt. You know, and I just don't think it's fair that because she has a platform and she's so famous that she can call people cocksucker of the day and cocksucker of the month and cocksucker of this. And, you know, just, you know, go on these rants. But I can't go on a rant. Shit, I'm a celebrity too, bitch. I got my own platform too. I have fans too. Boo. You know? Like... Let me go live with some of these barbs again. Y'all get on my nerves. I want to go live with y'all. I'm waiting to go live with this one barb that has so much to say. They don't. Most of these bitches don't pay bills. You know that. Of course. But here's my thing. But here's my thing. Yeah, you have love. Yeah, you have, you said you have love for Trina. But you just met Meg. First of all, you not only say you have love for Trina, but that's supposed to be your homegirl. You say you love Trina, that's your baby. You say, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, you pay homage to her, you give her respect. That's supposed to be your homegirl. But you just met Meg, and girl, she's, uh, you posted her 15 times on your page, bitch. You promoting the record more than you promoting Megatron. Girl, Trina been on the out. The album, Baps, you're on Trina's album. You posted it one time in your story. You posted it one time in your story. So what, how is it that, how is, explain to me how this is not adding up to you being a shady ass bitch. Oh, the song's two years old. The song's old. So the fuck what? That should, that should give you more of a reason to want to shoot the video without any hesitation. I know my homegirl and someone I've been rocking with for such a long time, and it's my friend, asked me to do a video, asked me to do whatever. I'm pulling up. I'm there. It ain't nothing. But I just meet this brand new artist who's phenomenal and is riding this wave and is so fucking dope and super talented and brings something so different to the table. Shout out to Megan Stallion. You just meet her, and all of a sudden, though, you're willing now to do the video, do this. It's, it's, like, it's like, okay, I get it. But it's like, is it more apparent? Can it be more apparent that you you are riding a wave, that you see her as a new Cardi and you don't want, like, it's, it's just too many things don't make sense for me. And I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, but I doubt it. I doubt it. But Trina didn't have the budget. Oh, Trina has the budget. Trina, my, Trina's money is long. Because what y'all got to remember is, aside from shows and aside from all the other endorsements that she gets, you got to understand how money, she has longevity. They still to this day in every city and every state that I've been to on a radio station, they're playing old Trina. Classic Trina. She has given us classic records, honey. So for y'all haters, the ones that's even turning their back and even still going, you know what I'm saying, like have something to say about Trina, when Trina has not disrespected none of the bars, she has an open her mouth about any of the situation. For y'all to sit there and come at her talking about some, oh, it was because they didn't have the budget for the video. This, all these jokes I'm seeing, you have life fucked up. You have life fucked up. Because Trina was about to roll out the whole red carpet and make a whole big thing for this video. She knew that she had to come a certain type of correctness when it came to Nikki and her putting a video out together because this was going to be legendary. It was going to be iconic. So y'all are, y'all played yourself by saying that the budget wasn't there and that that was, that's, that's out of the equation. That definitely wasn't a situation at all.
they've been talking about it for years. When people are questioned, why didn't she drop, why didn't she do the video earlier? Why didn't she do it sooner? First of all, she was working on still getting clearance for the record. She was still trying to get clearance for that record. It wasn't just Nikki's verse that she needed to get clear. It was also the sample from the, on the hook. They kept the original sample from the Hot Boy record. They had to get that cleared. People, wake up. For all you people that don't know what clearance is, all you barbs that are young and underage and minors and motherfucking adolescents, for y'all for y'all that don't understand what clearance is, in order for you to release a record legally, everything on that song has to be cleared, meaning the producer's rights. Any artist is on there, you have to have the permission. The splits have to be put set up properly. And on top of that, if you're using any samples of any old records, you definitely have to get that cleared. So first of all, let's start there. The record had to be cleared. That took time. By the time the record finally did get cleared, there were other records on the album that had not been cleared. So now there's clearance for that, and there's issues with the labels, Trina switching over from labels, and I don't want to speak on her business, but there was other underlying unforeseen things that people don't know about that caused the album to be delayed as much as it was. So now here you have the record being cleared, it's done, it's 100% done, Trina texts her, and they reached out, and the whole team reached out, and Trina reached out to her directly saying, hey boo, let's shoot the video, whatever you shoot the video, no response. No response. So, strategically, Trina asked Nicki Minaj on Queen Radio, when will we be shooting the video? Because the barbers want a video and the rock stars want a video. It shouldn't be that fucking hard to show up for a music video, boo. Regardless of what the budget or what it was going to look like, you did Takashi 6 ix video. The only thing upscale, only crack thing nice about that video was the motherfucking set. A whole bunch of balloons. In a candy land looking set, that's what made the video, and y'all, and what y'all put on, the glam. Those two combinations and a decent camera, baby, trust me, that that video didn't take nothing. Trina's money is long; she can pay for whatever the fuck director, Hype Williams, whoever the fuck she wants, she can pay for whatever the fuck she wants to get the video done. So. I'm still sticking to my word. I said today would be the last day that I address this issue. The day ain't over with yet. It's about to be over in 30 more minutes. So I said, let me get on this live one more time because I made a vow to myself and my fans, my publicists, my team, everybody. I made a vow to everybody that I will leave the subject alone and I will not talk about it any longer after today. Okay? Um, yeah, everybody is like, y'all are using the word, the term, you're mad loosely. Let me tell you when I'm mad. I'm mad when a promoter ain't got my money. I'm mad when I go to Chef Creole and they ain't got no onion sauce. I'm mad when I can't find my phone, when I can't find my key. I'm not mad about things that happen on the internet and social media and in this music industry, boo. <laughs> One thing about it, though, just because I get on my live and I talk about it and I speak on it, it don't mean that I'm bothered either. It just means I can. I can. I can get on here and talk about what I want to talk about, boo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girl. It's like I can say so much shit. And I even I haven't even said nothing. That's the thing. Y'all bothered, but I haven't said nothing. Cause other people, if I were to throw other people under the bus and I would have take say with well, other people that are my friends that have dealt directly with this woman, they told me. Huh. Not only would it be breaking news for real for y'all think I ended up on the blogs today. Not only would I end up on the blogs, but those people that told me all that tea and all that information, they will be so upset with me. 
and I value my friendship with these people more than I do any clout or any blogs that post me. Because first of all, I don't need to be on the blogs, baby. I'm on TV. Let's be let's get clear. I've done more. I've done more than I've done more than um, loving hip hop. I've done Wilder Now. I've done the Breakfast Club. I'm one of the few. Listen, and I tore that Breakfast Club interview. I've made my impact in this industry. I have moments on the red, but I work my set, and ain't nobody gave me shit. I'm working my own set. So all the comments that I see, you know what I'm saying? It's like, right, Paris, right. It's like, you know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, a bitch can always back down to somebody and make that that person feel like they're still in control. Or a person can stand up, whether it's a whole army against you. But a person, that one person standing up for what they believe in and speaking their facts and their mind and their truth, it's much more braver and much, I'm sorry, much more brave and much way more stronger than that whole army that tries to conspire against him. So I say all that to say this. I don't give a fuck how many barbs it is or how many people have something to come to say and how many people try to come from my neck. Baby, I said what I had to say. I'm saying what I had to say, and I'm going to continue to feel the way I feel until Nicki Minaj has a conversation with me face-to-face. If she wants to, if, if, you, if you, everything, if y'all really, the barbs really want everything to be okay, then me and Nicki will have a conversation. She will answer these questions face-to-face. She will answer why this happened, why this happened, why she did this, and why she said this, and why. Then I can ask the real questions. But I'm so much of a real bitch that I'm not bringing the, all the real issues to social media. Okay? I write all my raps, baby. All my raps. And y'all don't even know I've been writing for a lot of people, actually. So, anyways, I don't want to get into that. That's my career. I don't feel like talking about my career with y'all hoes. Y'all, I don't hold y'all hoes nothing. But I, I will stay on, this, on, on a given subject. Bye, trolls. Bye, all you bitches. Okay. Sick of it. Say what I had to say. Got back on here today because once again, y'all bitches is on my page talking about shit that y'all have no idea about. Y'all have no clue. I know she won't. I know. And what tripped me out is that the fa- the bars, the only way y'all know how to um, resolve a situation or anything is by fighting. <laughs> That's the only way y'all know how to handle shit. Pull up. You want to get dragged? Blah, blah, blah. You want to fight? Yeah. Why are you so mad? She be cute before I drag you. Y'all hoes so mad over a bitch that don't even know y'all exist. She call y'all by the barbs. She call y'all the barbs. Y'all are her barbs. Whatever. I don't know, child. I'm over it. I don't want to argue with you people no more. God bless y'all.